yourselves, what are you doing in this time of great challenge? What are you doing to unlock minds? And it's not an act when I get up here and get angry. I work as hard as I can not to do this and not to say mean things. But, I mean, I, I know I'm right. And, I mean, you got people in a concerted fraud effort lying and saying Dr. Wakefield was discredited when he never was. There's literally hundreds and hundreds of studies. You've got CDC and Merck uh, whistleblowers last year. I mean, one of them was the head scientist and saying, we covered it up. I really apologize. It's giving kids autism. And then he broke down crying at the uh, press club. C because, you know, hurting people, it, 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 you want to get right with God. You want to repent. I mean, from a distance, watching these people be involved in hurting children, I mean, what is God fearing? You, you could say, I know Buddhists and people that are afraid to do anything wrong because of karma. And, 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 and they have the same look that I've seen in Christians' eyes. They don't want to do something wrong. It's not just because they don't want to get in trouble. It's like your very flesh or your very soul inside your flesh recoils from wanting to hurt an innocent person. The, the problem is not a problem. It's natural. It's, 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 it's holy. Uh, I mean, it's what we were designed to do. I do not feel squeamish when somebody's hurting an innocent person. Then I've got the power and the will to gouge their eyeballs out. Uh, the problem is, is that you're not supposed to do that in a modern society. That's why a lot of these criminals get away with stuff. So I'll do it in the information war. I will gouge their eyeballs out with the truth. I'm sick of these people. Get off the children. Stop hurting them right now. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, said it's better for you to tie a millstone around your neck and throw it in the ocean than to hurt children. And I'm sick of you people hurting people's minds, hurting and when Christ talks about the children, he means small children, the mentally retarded, the old, the, the infirm, taking advantage of those that can't stand up for themselves. And then posing that you're the liberals that care about everybody is pure sin. And I'm not up here on some high horse. But, you know, some woman that runs around on her husband or some man that does it or somebody that drinks too many beers or somebody that has a temper, yeah, that's sin, and it's wrong, and people should repent. But I love how the corrupt are the ones. I knew this guy that owned a payday loan uh, chain around Texas. And uh, he lived down the road from me. And he was always coming up to my car and stuff and telling me how my show wasn't Christian here or wasn't Christian there. And one day I looked at him, and we ended up moving out of there, and I said, listen, buddy, you own a payday loan loan sharking operation. Do not, Christ beat people with whips that are in your business. You are committing one of the worst sins out there. Don't you lecture me. Get that beam out of your eye. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? I am sick of you people. I am sick of you people. I am sick of you hypocrite, thief, liars. Get off your high horse, okay? Get off of it. Stand up for people. Stand up. This Republican Congress passed the bill to ban partial birth abortion last year because they didn't have the Senate. It didn't pass two weeks ago because they had the Senate, 
and the, and that would have embarrassed the Senate to shoot it down. So the House did it. Safety in numbers, they thought it wouldn't be noticed. They called it a problem. Oh, we couldn't get it right. Let me tell you how you get it right. They do a cesarean on those women. They can pay them thirty to fifty thousand dollars or more. There are groups that want to adopt those children, but nobody even tells those women. I've told women that have had abortions, and I've talked to folks that work in these Christian missions. We have the billboards up, both the Protestant and Catholic groups saying a pregnant need help. They'll give you a job afterwards. They'll give you thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars. Whole nine yards not to kill that baby. And the to a woman when they talk to these women who have already had abortions, they didn't know. You mean I don't have to go in a dirty Planned Parenthood and have this baby killed? You mean I could have had this baby and I could have gotten paid a, a year or two salary and not had this on my conscience and not had a double cancer risk uh, for for uh, uterine or, or uh, other forms of reproductive cancer? You mean I could have done that? I'm not on some high horse. I'm a sinner, ladies and gentlemen. I'm bad. And compared to average people, they'd say, you're a really moral guy. Really good. Well, still, still, I'm evil. I can feel it. Okay, I have, I, I can tune into all of it. I, I get it. I know the enemy's mind. Most people, I don't think, can tune into what these people are into. I'm able to get in their mind. I've studied it historically the whole nine yards. And I talk about, it, it, it's like a proximity alarm. And my soul, my discernment, God's hand on me, and, and, and let me tell you, that is a humbling experience. Anybody who's been in the presence, as we all are, but intensely of the Spirit of God, it's very humbling because you feel so dirty in God's presence. God's all around us. But you, that's why I'm not an arrogant person. I come off as arrogant because I'm very confident and very aggressive because I'm very upset because it's like a proximity alert. When I look at these arrogant, narcissistic, full-of-themselves New World Order people, who know they're lying and don't care about all the bad things they're doing and all their fake consternation putting down good people. The fact that they're such losers and such traitors and such scum hurts my heart. And the proximity switch in me just feels how much danger they're in. And I just go, ah, you know, don't do it. Don't sign on to it. Because let me tell you, ripping people off through finance, cheating hardworking people, raising taxes on poor people, the temple was a money manipulation, money changer, fractional reserve banking scam, and it was targeting poor people that believed they had to go to the temple to make the sacrifice or they'd go to hell. And so it was bankers taking over the, uh, the, the church, and, 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 and Christ beat them with a whip and overturn the tables. I'm just telling you, that's as bad as it gets except for hurting kids. And you people that run the New World Order, that's all you're into because you're of your father, the devil. I mean, you people really are working for the devil. And you can say the devil isn't real all day. You know the devil's real. You know it's real. You know there's a force. There's a good force. And there's a bad force in the universe. And... It is disgust and horror and rage, I feel, when I look at you in all your enjoyment. Let me, let me tell all these MSNBC and Fox News people something, and you know this deep inside. That's why you don't like me. God is going to break you. God is going to make you beg. And everything you've done to children, everything you've been a party to that you thought you'd get away with, you're going to be revisited a thousand times. And not just you, your family. That's not a threat from Alex Jones. Vengeance belongs to God. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. You got God to deal with. And let me tell you something, all you fake Pharisee preachers up there that won't warn your flock, won't tell them what's going on, you know what you got to deal with too. Because when you stand before God, just like you do right now, your spirit is already standing before God. But when you're fully in the presence, you know how that hammer is going to come down on you. You know it. And whether you believe in entities or not, you need to understand something. Humans have manifested this over and over again in every civilization, good and evil. And we know where evil leads. And we know temporally in this dimension, any sapien could tell you this, that the path we're on leads to 
abomination, death, humiliation, sorrow, starvation, dead people in the ditch, and just hordes of flies. Flies accompany dead meat. And great judgment is coming down on this country. We've killed 55 million babies. We'll be lucky if God doesn't kill 200 million Americans. That's why the elite are so scared and always trying to build armored compounds and live out in the countryside and have private jetways to escape at a minute's notice because they know their spirit, even if they're not God-fearing, they can feel the judgment. They can feel the universal equilibrium of balance looking at what they've done and realizing that they're going to get it. only fitting that a free screen should sound the alarm against those who would destroy freedom. For in its power to deceive and inflame, or enlighten and inspire, the motion picture has no equal. <laughs>